All right, so I wanted to make a quick tutorial on how to enable VOIP in the new beta testing whatever engine for Urban Tear. Um, I'm not sure if this is high res enough to see the URL up here, but I'll paste this into the description and you can read basic documentation on the VOIP feature in the new IO Quake 3 engine. But the way you get this up and running in Urban Tear is first you want to enable OpenAL by typing uh, in the console, which you bring up by pressing tilde in case you didn't know. So you want to type slash set s underscore use OpenAL1 and then you want to restart your game or you can do whatever, it doesn't matter. Anyways, then you want to bind a key to plus VoIP record. In this case, I've just set it to C, so slash bind C plus VOIP record. <clears throat> and then what you want to do is type slash s underscore al and auto complete that which i wish it would it doesn't want to so i might have to clear this there we go <laughs> don't know why that was happening but um if you look under here you'll see uh, this parameter called available input devices and you can auto complete that and it'll return the different substrings it finds of your audio input devices. So in this case, the one I want to use is UMC 202 HD 192K analog stereo. That's just the audio interface I happen to be using. So I'm going to type slash S underscore AL input device. And I'm not going to type equals or anything because the, the, the substring it's looking for is immediately after I type that parameter. So I would just type UMC 202 HD 192K analog stereo exactly as it appears under AL available input devices. <clears throat> so I'm going to confirm that. Uh, then I'm going to restart my game. On Linux I had some problems with OpenAL uh, throwing some errors early on, but I just... I, <laughs> I closed and reopened the game a bunch of times and it seemed to fix itself. So... Uh, <laughs> it, maybe there's some bugs that need to be ironed out. But... um. After after you do all that and you restart it or whatever, hopefully when you press your little C key, you see there's like a little VU meter in the top that shows that my voice is coming through. And I might have to turn up the gain on it, it looks like. But um, that should be it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment below again. Um, I'm sure eventually Frozen Sand will add more helpful things in the sound menu here. Because currently this is implemented but not you know it's it's not it's not io quake 3's responsibility to put some sort of user interface in here that's frozen sand's job for now anyways um i haven't found any servers yet that actually <laughs> run this but if you want to if you want to stay ahead of the curve there's your little tutorial all right peace